Hey guys, Creek Diggers coming to you, Frostburg, Maryland, behind the, our very first 1850s house. What is it? I think it was probably a saloon. A saloon? Corey's okay. thinking this this is a uh, maybe an old saloon. Also, there's another. What what <clears throat> what year is this one, Corey? Over here? It's probably just as early. Two 1850s. Now their backyard's right here, but it very well could have come over in here and they could have shared. But people's been saying they wanted to see, actually see Corey and myself trying to actually locate these privies. So I'm just going to record a little bit, show you, you know, what we're doing, what we're looking for. So see here, there's a stone, stone walkway. So that's a good indicator of old. So we're just looking around. You see there's a fence here. Could have been the original. This could have been the original. Or it could have gone way, way back to the road. There's a wall, stone wall. Got some bricks in with it. I don't know. So we're just gonna just probe around. You can see how we just pushed the probe in the ground. And it's flex steel, so it bounces off of stuff. Look here, here's a, uh, maybe a good luck charm. Let's check it out. Oh, it's a penny on tails. So, we'll just flip it over for the next person. See, right now, Corey's going, we'll go right down the property line in the backyard. And that's what we do. A nice sink right there, so there's a good chance that thing might just fall out. We're hoping. You guys got your fingers crossed? Hoping for a drop. Not yet. So he's just going to work up that property line. I'll show you some some interesting stuff over here. We got some bricks forming like a rectangle shape. Now, to me, to me, this looks like a privy, a brick line privy. Did you probe this already, Corey? In here? Did you try to push through? Man, that looks like a brick line privy. Yeah, it's nothing. It's a flower garden. All right, and we got a trampoline over here. All right, so we're just going to keep probing around, and if we do find anything, we'll show you. This could be an absolutely incredible dig once it's located. So we're just going to take turns trying to locate this thing. See you guys back. Guys, we found one. <laughs> yeah. We're going to lay the tarp out. Right behind this tree. So check it out. We probed the whole entire property line all the way back, all the way back past the vehicles. Came back around to the other side here. Found a walkway, cobblestone walkway, ends under that ladder. So we started probing, 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 got past this tree, and it just fell out right in it. We'll watch it one more time. We're gonna lay the tarp out. And get rolling. Probe it one more time for him. Boom. See when we start opening this puppy dog up, guys. Stay tuned. Guys, little update. We just What's that piece of? <laughs> we just pulled up these massive cut stones. Check these out. They were covering up the privy. We were a little worried at first because we thought that looked kind of like a, a grave marker, but looked all over it for any kind of signs or markings or initials. Nothing. So we busted through that. We've had to deal with some massive roots, and now we're getting little shards of glass. But there's some glass in that. This is a second clay cap we've come to. Without the probe, we never would have known anything about this spot. But 
We're gonna keep on going. See you back probably shortly. Well, we got a bottle down here in the hole, guys. It's Trav thinks it's machine made, but see it, Amber. I think it's a, a chemical bottle. Can you see it good? Yeah. I'm pulling it. Got a zero on the bottom of it. It is machine made. Yeah, it's machine. Shit. I mean, it's early turn of the century machine, but there it is. First bottle out of the hole, guys. See you on the next one. Guys, another little update. We found the wall here behind Corey. We found the wall here in front of Corey. So we're just working down the two sides of the wall. We haven't found the these ones here, going yeah. this way. Yeah, oh yeah, right. that one there. But this side over here we ain't located yet. We but, there you go. You hear some stuff coming out. Some real early stuff now coming out. That would have been wicked. There's a piece of it. Don't, it could have been a boss, don't think so. You can see the little bubbles in it and stuff. Piece of a Grand Union Tea Company. A bottle. Need a rake. Corey's got a bottle. Love it. Live bottle. Live bottle. That's your empty the boot out. <laughs> <laughs> what the shingonongus? Alright. What's it at? In the sidewall? Yeah, it's coming out now. Hold on, I can't see it. Let me, let me zoom, let me zoom. Finger in it. Alright. That probably wasn't good to see. It's a slick. It is? Yeah. <laughs> is it it's blowing? blowing? Yeah. Blowing slick, guys. Second full bottle out of the hole. Slick. You, you know, they're starting to come though. Guys, Corey's got another bottle. Where's it at? It's way down. I haven't really uncovered it yet. Take the camera down and I show. I can it's full though. I can't. There's just no room. You can't even take the camera down? That's no. Man. I can hardly reach the bottle. Here, I got it in my hand. Some boss can feel it. Ready? Yeah, I guess. Here it comes, guys. It's a Royal Cough Cure from Norristown, PA. Dills Medicine Company. Sweet. That's got. I've never seen. Yeah, that that's one. probably it's a rare a one. one. But, See, dang, that's nice, big and bossy on that thing. I yeah, think guys. Here the side Royal it. Cough Cure. There's something bigger than that. The Dill Medicine Company. Any of you guys seen that one from the Dill Medicine Company? James Olt, how about you, brother? Royal Cough Cure. You said you got another one? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I think it's a mason jar. I don't know. Either. Another bottle ready to come out. Maybe a bunch. Maybe a bunch? Yeah. Maybe a bunch, guys. Maybe a bunch. We're into the trash layer down here. Yeah, look at it turning real dark now. Dang, there. something just come up with the scoop. This ain't it, but oh, there's that? a piece of a cup. Piece of a cup. Easy. Yeah. You got your full one laying there. This is broke. Broke? Yeah. It was slick anyway. Easy. <laughs> yeah, move that thing. You're the dodo that keeps throwing them over there. I'm in the hole. Dang, pieces of lantern, pieces of lantern, and a uh, full bottle. Full bottle? Slick. Damn. Pharmacy. Another piece of broken metal. Slick pharmacy, guys. We're gonna give, we're gonna give all the full slick ones to the homeowners. Here's the top of that broken one. Yep. Oh yeah. Half a bottle. You got a bottle? Yeah. This is one of the hardest ones we've had to dig, guys. Those monster rocks behind Corey and bricks and all that that you see were on top. Just laid right on top. It sounded it like down there. I hear it. I heard it too. I heard you smack right into it.
What do you guys think it is? Something crazy awesome? What's that? I don't know. I've never seen one before. What in the world? Anybody know what that little guy is? It's a bean. Hey, look here. Yeah, look. Corey just hit the use layer, guys. Seeds. See the seeds sticking out? Those are all seeds. Little seeds. And that sounded like glass. Oh, dude, there's glass everywhere. Look at all the glass coming out. Every shovel. Every shovel scoops got glass now, guys. Here's what I hit. Is it full? No. Oh. Look at that big platter. Anything on it? It just says Ironstone China. Royal Ironstone China. Dang, that was cool looking. No design on it, though. Bottle, bottle. Ready? No, hold on. Uh, slick, bottle coming up. Cool looking. Looks like a, I think we're in the close to early nine. Look at that, guys. Yeah, nice, nice blown aqua. What's that? Lead. Actually, I don't know what that is. <laughs> This is an exciting hole. Ah. And the first one from Frostburg. We're gonna try to get it opened up a little bit more so you guys can actually see us pulling them. Stay tuned for more action. Yeah, I can see it. Zoom in on it. Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> guys, you see this bottle down here? Can you still see it? Mm hmm No, I can't. No, you can't? Mm -mm. I'm gonna try to reposition it. There we go. Now you can. Mm-hmm. Oh. Wow. It's a broken amber something. <laughs> oh, Looks wow. like it was almost purposely cut like that. It's pretty hot. It wasn't a hot one. It ain't a whiskey. Stay alive. I got another something down here. Rock. Yeah. Rock in the hole. Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> it's broke. It's a big old piece of a crop. Big pocket down here. Trying to see if this thing's full real quick. So I can feel my hands are the pipe bowl. It's got the TD on it. Little pipe bowl. What we got here? Yeah. Some kind of cool design stuff. There's a lid of some sort. Shoot, man. Well, we'll get back to you if we get anything showing. Uh, guys, <laughs> bottom of the hole. See it? Get it. What we got? Quality guaranteed. Guaranteed quality. Are you serious? <laughs> How's it going? Oh, not too bad. We're getting a few. Guaranteed bottles. quality. <laughs> <laughs> Have no idea. I've never seen that bottle ever. Mm. Probably is Frostburg Druggist, so. though. It could have been. But here you go. Anything. See if there's anything else hiding that real quick. My camera don't want to zoom in on anything today. Drop it back down, Trey. We'll get back to you in a minute.
Guys, check his Larkin Soap Company. Zoom. Remember the trick I showed you on the Zoom? You see it? You know, let's get involved. Larkin Soap Company. It says Mujeska Derma Balm. Nice blown version. Check that out. Just popped out when I was trying to clean out my overfill. Oh, almost a full little dish too. Not quite there. Had some cool little fancy on it. Real thin cuppy. Big seed layer I just hit into. Yeah. See you back if anything else cool comes out. All right, guys. You can see the wall here going down on this side. And if I turn around, see the wall here. Stone liner. All the sand roots. That's always a good sign because it usually means there's a lot of trash down at the bottom. But you can see that med down there sitting. I just scraped up. I mean, from here it looks Civil War era, but... Give me the rake and go down and pick it up. I don't know. I think it is. I think it's early. At least 70s. We just pulled up a broken pollinal shard, so it just jumped from up top, up in up in this layer up here somewhere, 1890s, turn of the century. And as we went down, it was like 1880s, like right above this bottle, and then it shot directly to pollen away or pretty much civil war air stuff so i'm gonna go down here and grab it Ugh. there's a, like a no in here let me see it let me see this what we got oh yeah I, i'd say it's civil war air. yeah it just missed pollen oh, man what's it say it is a R and G A Wright, Philadelphia. Definitely an early bottle. <laughs> That's an early one, buddy. R and G A Wright. You guys see that? Look at hey. this. You got another one? Oh, it's broke. It is? Oh, oh it's disgusting. Yeah. It is? Ooh, Let me look zoom at out. that OP, buddy. Oh my gosh, guys. Look, we're in the open pond stuff, guys. I gotta get a picture of this. Hold on. Alright, guys. We're still... We're still pounding away at it. Trav just pulled up this keystone in Auckland. But, uh... Yeah, there's a pond layer down there. There's a couple full bottles in it, but I'd say it's late 1850s. It, it might be back to 1840s. We're not sure yet. Some of the pond was really crude and sharp, <clears throat> but we'll get back to these if we find anything. Guys, Corey turned back down in the hole. Look at the incredible amount of freaking glass that's come out of this hole. I mean, just insane amount of stuff. Most of it broken. Iron panel stuff, hinge mold stuff, machine stuff. Corey just popped out this really, really neat uh, Larkin. Hold on a minute. Let me zoom a bit. Bam. Larkin Soap Company from Buffalo. Nice plumbing with the cork still in it. Thank you. Anything else down in there? We're just, you can see the wall, we're working right along it. And the wall, we're working right behind it. See you back. Guys, check this open funnel puff that just came out of the hole. Yeah, it's a beauty. It don't say anything, but it's look at the lip on that puppy dog. 
Wow. Love it. Love it. We made it to the bottom. We're just expanding out along the wall. See back if anything else cool oh, comes dude, up. Got, dude, what? Umbrella. And it looks colored. Umbrella ink? It looks colored. Never mind. We ain't going anywhere. Hold on. Uh, I'm coming down with you. Somehow. Some way. There ain't no way you're going to be able to see it. It's underneath overhang. I got a pretty good angle right here. Yeah, but I can't get the rake. Yeah, you can. Underneath I'm under the rake. I know, but I need to come up. I don't want to hit the face with it. Go ahead. Oh, there's a plate right on top of it. Can you reach in there and get it? Oh, it's it's in, it's in there. Dude, a hand rig would be awesome right now. Corey's got the umbrella ink, guys. Here, take. can you take this down in there and show it? Uh, hold on, let me get it uncovered more. It might be aqua. It's OP. It's coming out here, ready? Yep. It's aqua. Oh, my. Dang, guys, look at this. OP. Boom. Yes. Open final umbrella ink. Hold on, let me get out of the hole before you knock it out of my hand. Dang. Holy crap. Well, this might be a full plate in here. <laughs> look at that, guys. Open final umbrella ink. <laughs> Hold on a minute, too. Dang, that is beautiful. Beautiful. Open panel meds. Open panel umbrella inks. Look at the open panel on this broken cup. Ugh, is that not sick or what? Jeez. In the absolute crier for the day. This is a bitters, isn't it, Corey? Huh? Isn't this a bitters? Sand pawnel or, or iron pawnel. It was a wolf shied ham. Look at the colors on this puppy dog, guys. My gosh. That would have been insaneness. You got anything else showing? In this monster platter. Just absolutely beautiful. Everything is absolutely beautiful. What a day it's been. See back if anything else cool well, comes Well guys, out. Trav says he's got, he's, he's pretty excited about whatever's down here right now. He's got me pretty excited to be honest. Check this out guys, Ooh. I thought it was a small little pine tree, but oh man, this is just a sick, sick open panel. Nothing on Green. it? Green. No, nothing on it, but I love it. It is a nice little utility. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful bottle. Outstanding. Yes, sir. <laughs> here, I'll show you guys some of the other stuff that's popping up here and there. Green utility. Um, camera don't want to focus. But. Utility. Here's some. Yeah. All right, we're back. Trav's says he's got another uh, OP I don't know bottle. if it's OP or not, but here it is. It probably is. Is it a flask? No, it definitely an open pond, was it? It's just a little slick flask. It's old. It's early. Yeah. But it ain't pawning. It is pretty early. There's nothing on it either. Oh. We'll get back at you. All right. Trav's got a druggist in the hole here. First Frostburg bottle, guys. JW Shade Druggist from Frostburg. <coughs> little three and a half inch. Or three and a half ounce. It's a little one. I don't know. I've never seen one that size. <laughs> Another druggist. Definitely one of the earlier ones I've seen. Oh yeah. Oop, there it is.
We will get back to you if we find anything else. <laughs> Travis got another bottle down there. He says it's OP. Oh, wow. It ain't OP, but I think no, it's No, I think it's iron bottle. Yeah, I think it's iron. It doesn't say anything on it, but man, it's, it's beautiful. Oh, it's a nice size, too. It's a big one. What is it? That's peppercorn, right? I think it's iron pond, I can't really tell. Pepper sauce. Fluted, or uh, ring neck. Alright, your turn. Nice bottle. Yeah, man. Yeah, I think it's IP. It's hard to see, guys. I think you can kind of see the rim of it there. But, alright. <laughs> guys, Corey's got a bottle in the hole. Where's it at? Right here. Is that a Gilbert? Is it? It is. A Gilbert Bros? Aqua one. Gilbert Bros. From Cumberland, Maryland. Baltimore. They're Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore. Baltimore. Guys, you can see we're just working the bottom right along the wall right there. What a fun pit this has been. Love it. Look at all them bottles laying there to take home. Open panels and snap molds and all kinds of cool stuff. 1840s, 1850s, baby. Love it. Love it. Looks like we got about an hour of light left. Hopefully we can pull out a couple more things for you guys before it's over. See you back if anything else cool comes out. Yeah, of course, just pop Definitely this little perfume out. Old lip on it. Let's get some zoomage. Let's see what we're looking at here. Sure, some kind of perfume. Mm -hmm. Nice rolled lip. Look at the lip on that thing. Good night. Another keeper. Another keeper. Dang, that dog ain't happy over there. Huh? I said that dog ain't happy over there. Yeah. Some damn dogs anyway. See you guys back in a minute. Guys, Corey says he's got a square in the hole. I'm going to come lean down here with him try to record it the best I can can't see nothing in there. I forgot the headlamp because my Jeep broke down it's sitting up the road with the headlamp in it I guess go ahead and pull it I can't see you under there okay in there pretty close. Facing like back the other way. Is there any way you can do anything with your camera? Uh -uh. Take a picture of it with your flash. I'll try. Before you pull it. Alright guys, let's see back. Corey's popping bottles out before he gets to the square. What's that? Is it embossed? No, but I was hoping the hell it was, buddy. Woo! What is I'm pretty it? sure it's IP. I think, I think that's what they are, and I, I think they're iron pawns. I mean, look at that little thing, guys. Let's just put it this way: the square is below that. <laughs> yeah, it's probably iron pawn. Some kind of little flasky. Oh, huh? What is it? Oh, it ain't pawn. 
It's still cool. Big old shit. pickle? Yeah. Nice. I can't believe that's not cornal. Big old pickle, guys. Corey just popped out of the hole. Big pickle! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that big dog. Heck yeah, man. That is wild. Nice. Look at all the bottles over here. Heck yeah. Bam! See back. Guys, it's starting to get dark on us. You can see sun's going down here. Look at the incredible finds from today, though. Help me. I mean, just awesome. Help me. <laughs> and all the broken stuff. Oh my gosh. Just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of broken plates and crocks and pottery. <clears throat> Saved a little pile for the homeowner. We're gonna go through these and get our picks and the rest of them's come back in the hole. Back in the hole. We're gonna fill this hole. It keeps going this way along this wall. It goes a little past that bush. A little past this bush, Corey said, so. And we haven't really undercut much. We're gonna come back and reopen it up <laughs> under about where the pile is, but that's it for tonight. We're gonna be done with it. Awesome, awesome bottles. <sighs> I mean, just an incredible, epic dig behind this 1840. This would be the earliest pit then, right? 1840s? Yeah, it's earlier than the one we dug in Piedmont. The one we dug in Piedmont might have been late 50s. This is the earliest pit we've ever gotten into, guys. And, and you can see, they had some money. They didn't dip it. We had to go through some serious trouble to get down there. The ones in Cumberland I dug were the 1790s at the bottom, but... Were they? Mm -hmm. That pit we were in in Cumberland before would have been 1840s at least at the bottom, but they made us leave, so... Oh, know. where the squat came out. Yeah, that's true. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the footage. I know we did. This was one of, one of my favorite digs ever. I would have loved for that big giant platter to have been full. That would have just been something incredible but real happy with the finds today some really nice awesome open panel stuff hope you guys liked it thanks for watching like and subscribe see you next time guys